holy shit is all I can say. Statue Hunter 75 here with the uh, Sideshow Collectibles Avengers Hulk maquette from Legacy FX and Sideshow Collectibles. This piece is enormous. It's huge. It's awesome. It's got enough heft to it. Um, you know, like the base is kind of light, but himself, he's got some heft to him, you know, some weight to him, so I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Uh, I know some people complained about the tone of the green and stuff. You know, I'm not a professional painter, so I can't see it as much, you know what I mean? It doesn't bother me. Like um, some other people have commented about it and they repainted it, and I understand that. That's fine. Um, I don't mind tampering with it. I think I'm going to leave it alone. The eyebrow isn't that bad. He's looking angry. His teeth look freaking amazing. They look like acrylic or enamel teeth. I got to tell you right, and the gloss on his lips looks so cool. I got to tell you right now, I'm getting high from the smell of the paint because, uh, look at the focus. Look at those teeth. Holy cow, they look like a human's teeth. I think I see plaque in between them. That's amazing. And I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting high from the, the smell of the paint because this piece is so big and all I smell is new statue paint. It's quite amazing. He looks awesome. There's no number on this piece. I, I just went straight to the statue because I couldn't start the review looking at the box or whatnot. But here, here's a quick little glimpse of my uh, living room. And uh, you can see the uh, box. It's huge. Um, it's taken up the living room here. So it says Avengers, the symbol in the Hulk maquette. And you know, you see the Marvel. And up top, all it says is Hulk maquette. <clears throat> On the side of the box, nothing. Just Hulk, Hulk maquette. Um, and the back is nothing. It just says SideshowCollectibles.com. So that's it. And then the other side is just says Hulk maquette. So that's it. So let's go back to uh, this beast here in my kitchen. Let's go back to him. My God, and, and what's awesome is the weathering on the pants. Oh, it's perfect. It's just, it's awesome. It looks like, and they're like, yeah, oh, of course it's fabric. It's mixed media. The pocket. It's awesome. Awesome. Um, they all had that, I like this touch too, the little rip in the pants. They, they did it purposely. As you can see, they purposely stopped stitching there and stitched the rest, so it's not going to rip any further. You see his back pocket. A lot of people notice this <clears throat> on the butthole here. I mean, not the butthole. The <laughs> on the left butt cheek where it's indented in because of the way his leg is flexing, there's a little hole under the pants. You can see it when I push through. You can't see it when it's normal, but when I push it, you can see it, and you can feel it yourself. It's like an eraser head size hole, like that big. And it's to let the uh, the cast, you know, when they're doing the casting process, to let it, I guess, let the air out or something. So um, you get this wonderful sculpt in front of you without bubbles and bumps and stuff like that, I guess. But that's what I read somewhere, so hopefully that's accurate. But uh, good God, this guy is just amazing. Look at those teeth. I can't get enough of them. Let me try and zoom in on those teeth we could have a dentist look at them oh a little too close look at those things it's amazing they look like real teeth so cool very happy very very happy awesome job sideshow collectibles and legacy effects the tones of the greens and the yellow look perfect the veins in the arms looks just like Mark Ruffalo CGI'd as the Hulk and you know I started going down to the pants and the legs look great mine came flawless no problems thank God getting sick of contact and sideshow for credits <laughs> or replacements <clears throat> The back, look at the back, it's just massive. 
massive this guy is massive what I might even do is show you a little sneak peek of my Avengers setup I'll put them downstairs in the Besta and show you guys the Avengers all together how I have them set up okay I might have to sneeze okay now I'm good alright this base is incredible for detail the base is very very nice he's got a peg and a block with the peg extended going in here nothing over here just the foot rests so it's two pieces the base and the big guy do we have to cut his toenails nah he's looking good <laughs> just the detail is amazing obviously the street line that's cool that was a nice touch the shrapnel from the building here or the, the whatever you call that the underground fiber optics that is an awesome touch the detail I wish I could really get in there and flip this guy upside down to show you but the detail is awesome it's let me get a little light here look at that that is sick very happy very very happy with this guy how he came out people will complain about anything I, I don't think he's that bad I understand the eyebrow could have been painted a little bit better but it's really not enough to bother me. It doesn't hurt my Avengers display in any way, shape, or form. Mark Ruffalo, I see it 100%. I see an angry Hulk. I don't see a confused looking Hulk. I see an angry Hulk. And he's about to smash some of those aliens coming down through the sky. So yeah, I couldn't be happier with this piece. I'm, ec I'm ecstatic. Very happy with the overall massiveness of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop for a minute and I'm going to come back and show you guys him set up with the rest of my Avengers display. Kind of get another little sneak peek into the basement and the statue collection. So we'll be back soon. All right. Here's the Avengers display. Not showing you too much of the collection room. But I will let you see the uh, Avengers here. We got Black Widow, Thor, then we got the Cap, and of course Iron Man. And then we got the big guy at the bottom, the Hulk. So there you have my Avengers display so far for the movie version at least. Alright guys, have a good night.